Hey guys, this is Titan and I welcome you to another episode of my City Skyline series Vedastein. Episode 37 for today and for now we stay in, we stay in the area that we already established, that we already yeah, progressed into in the last episode. So while in the last episode, episode 36, um, we b built this little area here with some, you know, generic um, 19th century Gründerzeit building some of my cube houses, the very first um, yeah, Plattenbau buildings of Wederstein and this old um, reused tram depot. Today I'm going to, and you, of course again you can already see it on the title, today I'd like to finally make the brewery of Wederstein, which will be yeah, somewhere hereabouts. I was very much looking forward to this build for um, years probably and so today I am so happy to finally get started with this one. So without much more talking, without further ado, let's just dive straight into the time lapse and see what we can do here. And we begin this whole area sort of withdrawing the main road of this, um, yeah, of this brewery complex. And as you see now, um, the buildings I chose to use here are the Eschebach buildings that factory complex I made actually for specifically this reason and actually precisely one year ago. So I released them on the 1st of May 2020 and now we have uh, the 30th of April 2021. So it kind of took me a whole year to finally get this um, brewery complex. Yeah, finally get this started. But um, let's just say quality takes its time. Now we start this whole factory complex with um, yeah what is what what I thought to be sort of the centerpiece of the complex, which is this this building. Being honest, I don't quite know what this would be in reality, as I fear I'm not the master of breweries and um, I'm not that well um, yeah versed in the overall understanding how um, breweries. In general work but I suppose um, the building we just made so the sort of largest stru structure the centerpiece of the of the complex would be where um, the beer is actually being brewed that is um, yeah sort of my um, take on that I guess now around this centerpiece we really will just um, slap a whole lot of um, industrial buildings and always stay with the same um, you have the same with the same pattern um, that I already established. The rail you see here, um, we will tackle in a bit. That is the sort of um, yeah um, factory access that back in the days was used to transport goods and all sorts of stuff into the uh, yeah to the factory complex. But that's a topic that we'll tackle in just a few minutes. For now, let's really concentrate on yeah for the for the beginning the general style. Um, so I am sort of orienting myself here on the um, brewery of Rheinfelden in Switzerland, which is if you Google brewery, um, it's always one of the first results and it's a like picture perfect, almost cliche, beautiful brewery complex um, that I really wanted to sort of emulate for um, for Wederstein. Really just um, you know taking inspiration from it it's by no means um, even close to a one by one recreation but it's really just this this feeling of an old-fashioned brewery um, with yellow brick stones and and white or beige plaster that really gives us gives us feeling of the good old days and that is what I'm trying to emulate here you see that I'm using quite a lot of um, yeah overall um, quite a lot of buildings but always stay with um, or almost always stay with my Eschebach buildings um, with the exception right now being this um, building that is from um, Beard Monkey it's actually from the um, central station in Malmö but with these two um, yeah sort of with these two halls here I figured they would fit really well in a sort of warehouse sense and that is why now I'm also um, yeah, yeah, plopping these doors and this little platform on it 
to yeah, just to emulate that back in the days this was where um, the war goods were um, delivered to to yeah, to the whole factory complex basically and yeah that is the um, theme behind this particular building overall as I already said I'm not really a, a pro how um, breweries actually look how they work and how the precise processes are inside that complex so um, I fear whatever buildings I am plopping down um, might not be how it's realistically done and I can definitely not explain anything here meaning like this building is supposed to um, process the war um, grain and this building is supposed to um, brew um, the beer or whatever I fear I can't tell much about that but um, from you know a bit of general knowledge and I fear with that um, we are all sort of on the same side that whenever we do something in this in the game we try to emulate something but don't really know how it's or why it's actually done like that in reality and I just looked at various old-fashioned breweries all over Europe um, and yeah sort of try to find some similarities in all of these buildings and so at the end of the day this is sort of the factory design that I came up with and as a general tip this is uh, or in general this is a tip that I can only encourage you to do as well if you don't know how to you know realistically develop a certain area a certain um, building complex just look how it's done in reality and find the similarities between all the different things now with the general design being sort of finished now I decided to yeah make this whole factory complex a bit more a bit more over the top maybe and added a yeah, heavily PO'd um, the corner buildings of my um, of that Eschebach set into these little um, corner towers here this yeah not really towers these turrets turrets really just to yeah really just make it stick out even more and make it look like a really proud old-fashioned brewery complex that in the end these little turrets really pay off very well and um, as you will see um, yeah, a bit further towards the end of the video now jumping a bit back in time um, you already saw and already mentioned briefly the um, the rail that connects the factory complex to the outside world pretty much now this rail that I'm doing here is um, not in use anymore it's just it's still there and it used to be important for the um, for the connection of the brewery um, but nowadays it's cut off which is what I'm doing here it's cut off and not yeah not used anymore but this whole rail um, I really needed it here to sort of justify the high-speed track going through the city um, I just saw an ICE train passing by um, that high-speed track going through the uh, city itself for that to, to be justified I needed this particular piece here and so what I'm doing here is really cutting it like you see I really cut it off and I just had the idea to um, sort of simulate or to sort of give the idea that um, the original factory um, access track used to be here but when the high speed track got built it really was cut off and to just show that um, you see that both the embankment and rails using node controller which is a mod that gets better by by the minute if you spend on it you you do you, you find so many more things to to do with it you see that both the embankment and the track itself is really just straight cut off um, by the high speed track and this um, concrete wall I placed next to it which um, yeah gives a bit of history to this whole place and shows that um, whatever used to be here um, um, is not in use anymore but of course um, for for financial reasons or maybe heritage reasons um, it wasn't um, possible or necessary to just um, remove the whole um, track 
and so they just really cut it off which is a yeah, interesting little detail and definitely was a really fun build and once again it really just showed the amazing possibilities you have when using node controller which i can definitely recommend you using it is an amazing mod and now to further show that this piece of track these what, what could it be 200 meters maybe is not in use anymore i placed a whole lot of trees inside that um, piece of railway embankment and of course a whole lot of dirt decals as well to just show it's it's overgrown it's not in use for um, based on that um, vegetation it's not in use for at least 20 years or so and uh, yeah just to really show that now then we have this um, road underpass here and thanks to um, that yeah, underpass, overpass bridge from uh, WIG 4000. It is really easy now to make these old fashioned, um, bit of industrial, rural looking um, railway overpasses. Using PO, I really um, was able to, yeah, to, to customize these pieces into this perfect or into, yeah, into this location so that they fit this location just perfect, which was really fun to do. And the embankment now, I again am using slope networks and uh, combine them with node controller, which I can't stress it enough. Um, if, you if you start diving into that mod, the possibilities it gives you are endless. Uh, as you see, it's I'm like it really enables me to uh, customize the ends of that um, slope network perfect to that um, retaining wall of the of the underpass which is or of the over is it, is it an overpass or an underpass it's a railway overpass but road underpass i guess uh, which is really amazing and again just um, placing trees that are just high enough so they they barely stick out of the um out of the embankment meaning they would be just small bushes here in this scenario but it really sells the idea that this is um, yeah, an overgrown piece of track and you see it now in that little um, mid video cinematic it is uh, yeah it is looking great and it's really belie believable that this is not in use anymore all right then continuing with the actual um, with the actual yeah main part of today the brewery itself so the yeah the general design we already established now we can do the actual uh, fine detailing of this building complex and I start with just placing a couple of um, doors all around and here um, I'm used the same technique um, that I used previously to hide windows um, previously I used it to hide windows in that uh, centerpiece here I used this technique to hide windows um, these um, yeah, hidden windows or partially hidden windows of the ground floor of the basement floor um, which really just uh, is a is a yeah nice little detail but um if you have a if you if you watch the cinematic and you see hmm wait there were windows that are partially hidden in the ground it immediately destroys the immersion and so um it was really great to um yeah use these uh, concrete pieces to get rid of those um situations about the rails that go all through the factory complex um Honestly, I would not want to talk that much about them because um, from a from a realism standpoint, the curve way 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 the um, are way too small. So this is something where we definitely took some artistic liberties. Um, but you know, it's it's all about the illusion. It's all about the all about the looks and not necessarily about the function. So uh, yeah, just. Just don't mention the uh, curve, curve, yeah, railway curves in this complex. To me, it's um, we're not gonna mention them. Um, to again, I have no idea how brewery complexes actually are supposed to work, but to just also um, emphasize on the point that this is an industrial complex. I'm placing loads and loads of smaller chimneys and pipes and stuff all around the complex. To yeah really just show um, this is an industrial complex and it really helps bringing this whole complex to life and make it look like an actual industrial 
complex. Um, maybe it's a bit over the top, I'm not perfectly sure about that, but at least it definitely helps selling the point of what this is supposed to be. And again, I can definitely recommend that. I just use some um, yeah, wall props, wall pieces that I uh, PO to really get rid of some windows um, where the pipes enter the buildings, which is just a really tiny detail, but again, it just helps um, in terms of in terms of yeah, the immersion, and it really helps selling the point of, of realism in this case. The factory complex is at least 100 years old, probably like 120, 30, 50 years old. And in that sense, I am also using a lot of uh, dirt and stain and crack decals all around the complex to just show it is old. Probably has been renovated at some point in the future. Nevertheless, it is old and again, using a lot of decals to really just um, yeah, show that and sell sell this um, little piece of, of backstory. Again, using node controller now, uh, in, a, in a few seconds it is, and I got the idea that I should use some, um, yeah, that I should change the, the appearance of the roofs here. And I used some of, um, some of these roof networks from Ronix to change the change the appearance of the roof here, just you know, make it a little bit darker so that it looks, I don't know, just a bit more industrial, I guess. But using Node Controller, as you just saw, I was really able to to adjust the um, the the slope of the roofs to the actual roof um, that is lying underneath, which is just just such a great help. Also, as you just saw, it really enables me, to, or it yeah. Coincidentally, it enables me to place all sorts of decals um, on top of the roof that wouldn't be um, possible normally. But since I placed these um, networks on top here, um, it was possible to place all sorts of stain and dirt and even puddle decals on top of the roof to just yeah, further sell this, this fact. Now, probably the point that wh or why I needed so long to finally make this brewery, beer crates and beer kegs. They are everywhere here. Um, I don't know why every brewery sort of does this, just um, yeah, storaging beer crates and beer kegs on pallets um, yeah, outside, um, exposed to the elements. But I really noticed that every brewery, or every, I don't know, every large brewery does that. I don't know why, but I really had to emulate that and so, um, I published them about a month ago to the workshop. Um, I had to do Wedersteiner beer, um, beer crates and beer cakes. And of course now proper um, logos for, uh, yeah, for, the, for the beer and for the, for the factory as well. That really um, from afar look really great. The factory complex itself by now is um, almost done actually. It's really from now on the surroundings and yeah, the sort of last final touches to the um, factory complex itself, which is, as you see here, a few sort of um, pavement borders here, the um, entrance to the whole complex uh, with the barrier and the speed bump. Really tiny details, but um, it's these tiny details that um, make the place really look realistic uh, as opposed to a model railway. And last bit for this um, particular area here, I'm just placing a whole lot of um, smoke spawners to again yeah, add the last final touches of detail and make it look like um, an actual realistic complex and not just a model railway. And yeah, it's in my opinion, it does look or it really turned out believable and yeah, quite realistic looking. Now that that's done, let's move to the um, yeah, to the front um, square and parking spaces and everything of the build of the factory complex. First things first, I decided to plop this um, yeah I decided to plop a stair in front of the in front of the um, brewery 
proceeded here. And again, I always need to make my stairs functional because it just looks amazing when the Sims actually use all these stairs. And you see here another, or, yeah, another approach of me doing that. And I can only recommend you if you do stairs um, wherever they are, try to make them functional. It is really easy, um, you just use a pavement network and adjust to the stairs and then um, yeah, replace it with, a, with an invisible network, but it just helps so much selling the point and it just, you see it already, it looks amazing when the sims use the stairs. I can only recommend you doing that. Now right in front of the brewery I was a bit unsure what to do at the beginning, should I, you know, just place houses, should I do nothing there? What I decided for, and it might be a bit critical maybe, um, you'll see it in a few seconds, uh, at the end I decided to for once make a you know, bus stop and a small, um, yeah, a small area for, for bicycles and stuff. That is um, probably a more of a bit more of a recent addition, but um, the sort of main part of the, or the yeah, for the largest part, the front of the brewery is really just taken by a huge uh, parking lot that I will do in just a few seconds. For though um, the yeah, there is a also a bit of lawn in front of the brewery that I'm just detailing the same way that I always detail um, large pieces of grass, meaning tufts, um, a few dirt decals, trees, and mm, yeah, that's it. Not too many, just a few to just um, sell the point and um, just make it a bit more yeah, beautiful. Nothing special in that regards. And now, as I already mentioned. Um, a quite large um, parking lot. I think I made it a bit too large actually, but yeah, it's too late to change that I guess. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see what you will have to say about that in the end. But I think it actually sort of works as being the, the main parking lot of this um, brewery for all the people that work there and visitors that might come here for um, you know guided tours maybe there's also a small museum in there that shows the history of the beer or of beer making in general so um, while the parking lot is huge almost by american standards it uh, it definitely works Last bit for today, I just placed a couple more detached home further up the road and nothing more to say about that. Actually, that's it for this episode of Federstein. There's just a little, more, uh, little bit more to come, but from my side, that's it for today. I really hope you liked this episode, um, the whole build, and if you do so, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment, you know the drill, but it definitely helps me and uh, yeah, helps me grow this channel and I read every one of your comments. If you really want to support me, you can do so on Patreon, the link is in the description and a huge thanks to the people who already support me. You are amazing. Feel free to also join my Discord server where you can get in touch with me and others to follow my work. And with that before and after shot and the following cinematics, I will leave you for now. That's it, stay tuned, stay healthy, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice time, bye.